Hi, so I thought what I would do is send a quick video to you just to go through some of the functionality on Excel that you might find useful for your upcoming course. So I've opened up uh, this budget unformatted, which is one of the first spreadsheets you're going to work with. And um, this area at the top of the screen here, uh, this is known as the ribbon, okay? So at the moment, currently we're on the home ribbon. We can tell that because of the green line on and all of these uh, shortcuts here. This is all part of the ribbon. The area I'm going to talk about today is the view ribbon. So I'm going to click on view there. And I just want to go through a few different settings on here that might make it easier to navigate around and just to let you know what they're there for. So one of the most common things is that the um, the fonts, uh, the, the letter sizes may be too big or too small. And so you want to be able to either zoom in or zoom out. Now, the easiest way to do that is to go down to the bottom right hand corner of the screen here and you can press these plus buttons. And as you can see, as I press the plus, it gets bigger or it gets smaller. So now I've gone to 130 percent. If I ever want to, I can either try and drag this back to the middle, which will work, or I can always press here to take it to 100 percent. Um, but actually, I'm quite happy. I can also choose this zoom button here and select a magnification that I want to. OK, there's another one that's very rarely used. But if you just want to look at a specific portion of your spreadsheet, you can highlight it and then zoom into that selection. Makes it very, very big. Um, but that could be worth, you know, that could be useful to you. So I'll just put that back to a, actually, I want it a bit bigger than 100 percent. Let's say I will use uh, a custom. I'll go to 100. 30%, whoops, 130%, which is just about right for what I want here. So that's good. Uh, another common thing is sometimes, you know, we want to often print, print out documents that are in spreadsheets and you want to know whether it's going to fit on the page or not. So one thing you can do is you can look at this page break view here I'm going to click on that and you can see that the dotted blue lines represent um, where it's going to be um, when it gets printed out. Again, it's very zoomed in for some reason, so I can take that to 100% or more, okay? And I'll just prove this to you. So you can see at the moment that uh, it's gonna go from January to November and it looks like December's on another page. Another way you can see this is from the print preview dialog box. So if I press control P, it will bring up the print preview box and you can see here, look, this is page one and you can see that it's indeed isn't going to uh, be January to November and on page two, we're going to have just December. In the course, you'll learn how to change that, but it, sometimes it's just nice to see what something's going to look like before it's printed out. And so you don't have to come into this print dialog box to see it. You can see it just from changing the view. OK, a couple of other things I'd like to show you just before we finish that can be very useful. Uh, this particular workbook consists of two different uh, worksheets. So you can think about, you know, um, this is a workbook. So that's the whole spreadsheet. Uh, and you can think of it like a book and inside a book there's pages or sheets uh, and so each individual tab down here is called a worksheet inside of a workbook uh, so this has got a budget and then once you've learned some things on here you'll come into this practice section and you're going to do some work in here uh, now um, depending on how many monitors you've got and things like that i can show you a couple of things that might be useful so a lot of people don't know that you can do this you can press this new window button here which is really quite cool. So you press this button and what happens is we get a second window looking at the same document. So what this now allows, allows me to do, for example, is I could choose budget here. So what I could now do is if I wanted to, I could have on the right hand side of the page, the budget. And when I, when I click and drag something to the edge of the screen, it's opening up the, um, the built into Windows functionality where it allows me to choose what I display on the other half of the screen. So now what I'm doing is I'm looking at the same document, but through two different windows, uh, one being one, one of the worksheets and one being the other worksheet. And indeed, just so you can see, if I actually, uh, if I actually make this a little bit bigger, okay, for one second, actually not quite that big. <laughs> if I actually come in here, and I might do is just grab that. Oops, I grab my whole window there. I'm just gonna grab this. Am I gonna grab it? I don't know. I'm actually doing this in a virtual window. There we go. That's why I was having a slight issue there, being able to, to grab different parts. Uh, but if I uh, if I add something down here, for example, I just write the word tree, 
uh, we can actually see that on this spreadsheet, the same thing has, it's been updated and we should see the word tree. Uh, there we go. So you can just see that it's the same, it is the, it's the same worksheet on both of these. Okay, I'll actually delete that because we don't want the word tree there. And at any time you can close any one of these just by pressing the X and getting rid of that. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring this back into the full screen and I'll just show you one more thing that can be useful. Um, so that, that's a way of seeing the same information twice by opening up another screen. The other way you can do the same sort of thing is you can actually split a window in half. So if we look down here, there are some questions that you're going to be doing. Here we go, there's these 10 questions here that uh, I'm sure after some training you will fire through. But what these involve is these involve looking at this data that's up above it. OK, but as you can see, as I scroll up to see the data, I can't see the questions anymore. So what you could do is I could click here, say, on row 41, for example, and I can choose to split. So if I click here on this split button, what that's going to do is where my cursor was, it now splits this spreadsheet. And you can actually see that we've got two scroll bars. Look, if I move my face out of the way, uh, look, I've got one scroll bar here. And if I just drag on that, Look, I can move the bottom half. And if I drag on this one, I can move the top half. So what that will allow me to do is I can keep the questions here. So for example, the first one is calculating the total number of hours worked. Well, if I want to see where the total number of hours worked are, I can scroll up to the top here, and then I can see hours worked. And so I could add up all of these and create a total hours worked. So this, this is just a way of being able to split a document in half so that you can see two different sections of it. OK, or you can just click on that to turn that functionality off. Great. Well, I hope these have been useful, these extra little tips. And uh, if you've got any questions, then the tutor will help you uh, when you start your course shortly. Thank you very much. Bye bye.